So yesterday, the FNAF movie trailer finally came out, and the wait was definitely worth it. So yesterday, I finally got to see the FNAF movie trailer, and honestly, I was pretty hyped for it. I was saying for a bit that I thought the animatronics were going to look accurate, but I never anticipated them to look this accurate. The only tiny details that's been changed is maybe like a slight facial adjustment to make each one of them look different. Bonnie no longer looks like a modified Freddy, which I think is a really good thing. Um, one of the confusions that comes from the animatronics, though, is that in some scenes, Bonnie looks purple and in the poster Bonnie looks purple but in the actual movie when they aim a flashlight at him he looks blue like toy Bonnie or FNAF world Bonnie so I have no idea what Bonnie's color is going to be but I kind of hope it's purple or at least a dark blue that kind of looks like purple but who knows um, another thing that I have the gripe about is the glowing red eyes I know some people are like really mad about it and some people are like saying that it's no big deal but for me i think the glowing red eyes is to indicate that either the animatronics are malfunctioning and not haunted or they're going off of the books where afton can control the animatronics when he's spring trapped because if you didn't read the books which i hate to bring up the books afton when hooked into spring trap is able to control all the animatronics because the spring trap animatronic was connected to the database so i'm really hoping that isn't it i'm really hoping that we're not taking influence from the books but if it does end up happening just know i called it it's really easy to tell the glowing red eyes kind of gives it away it reminds me of the uh chucky reboot that happened a while back they did the same thing there and i think they did it with some of the fnaf knockoff movies which we'll talk about one day on our podcast but yeah it's a it's a really common trope and it kind of lets dumber audiences know that this thing is evil which is kind of lame but overall, I think the pizzeria on the inside looks really good. I think that on the outside, it actually convinced me that it was run down. I love the set props. I love the stained glass uh, windows on the dividers on the boots. I think that the aesthetic of it all is perfect. I love this. This is 100% what I thought Freddy Fazbear's would look like. The complaints are very small, like er earlier in the trailer when they showed like the flashback where it was like a training tape for the security guard that did not look like it was from the 80s that did not look like it was from the 90s it is sad when youtube videos ARGs involving FNAF look more convincing I, I just think that maybe they should have actually filmed on VHS or something I don't know I guess I'm a lunatic for thinking that I guess you can just crop the borders and be like yeah it's 4 by 3 obviously it was VHS the color correction and the lighting yeah ignore that but whatever Really, it would just be a bunch of small things, like the saw laughter that plays throughout it, or the weird animatronic head torture device, which is also reminiscent of Saul. If you had to ask me what's going on, I would say that the guy that we see in the trailer, he's just gonna die. He's just the introduction to it. He breaks in to explore the pizzeria and they kill him. And the real main character is going to be a little girl who we follow around. And the whole reason why she got lured there is because Afton's doing the Afton thing and he wants to lure more kids in. Yada, yada, yada. You get where it's going. I think that the opening we see in the trailer is just the opening of the movie where some sad guy ends up getting killed by being... I don't want to know. I don't even want to say what it is. I, I guess super spring locked. It's a weird animatronic torture device. And I think that's silly. I think that going for a saw angle is silly. I get that they're trying to get more people into this rather than just video game audiences. But I hope that more extreme liberties like that isn't taken throughout this. I think that they should have focused more on the supernatural of this uh world but i have a feeling that they're saving the supernatural stuff for the actual movie and trying to trick people into thinking that this is some type of slasher film which it might be but the animatronics are most likely haunted so it's kind of mean that they're giving like a false impression that they're actually killer robots so yeah I'm really hyped for this trailer. It looks really good. If you somehow haven't seen it, sorry that you watched this video first. A link to the actual trailer will be in the description below. I'm really hyped for this movie, and I can't wait for it to come out so we can review it. If you like this FNAF video, please 
hit that like button. If you know other people that like FNAF, share this video to them. It will help everyone out. It'll help this channel grow. It'll help get some new exposure to us. And if you guys want to see more stuff like this, you should hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, do everything that YouTubers tell you to do because it actually does help out and it helps us make more content like this.